Hey, how's it going? Good morning. It's 7.20 a.m. on a Monday morning, and that is looking off in the direction of uh, the Central World Mall off on the right. That is the R Walk and the Big C Grocery Store across the way. I'm heading up in the direction of Petchabury. If you see the Palladium, I'm not sure if the Palladium is a hotel. I, I think it is. Down near the base is Petchabury, and, and right before Petchabury, I'm going to try, and I've, I've never caught a water taxi up here, but I'm going to try to hop on the water taxi and head down towards Nana. So let's, uh, let's see how I do. And again, I'm no water taxi expert. If you live near a water taxi, it's a great way to get around town. I thought it was less than 20 baht, but uh, somebody had made a comment they thought it was... Uh, 25 baht so I'm not sure if it depends on where you're going from point A to point B I'm going to jump on and when the lady comes around shaking the little coin thing I'll have uh, two 20s out just in case I'll say Nana and we'll see if she uh, grabs them both if if so it's 25 it's a busy Bangkok morning everybody heading off to work that this isn't terrible traffic most people I know Head into work between 9 and, and 10 p, uh, 9 and 10 a.m. Excuse me, it's still early in the morning. So maybe uh, traffic gets a little busier as the morning goes on. I'm sure not a morning expert. And if you're hanging out anywhere in this area, in a condo or a hotel, you have a huge Big C grocery store. And there's a nice little park behind uh, Central World. I'm surprised it's closed up. Maybe... Uh, Maybe it's a Monday thing. I'm not sure. Many of these parks open at 5 in the morning. Now this one says uh, open 10 in the morning till 10 p.m. And that is the backside of uh, Central World Mall. And straight ahead is Petchabury. I've made this walk a few times. I know this little area right here. We're going over the canal or the Klong. I'm just not sure which side... It's the water taxi pier, but we'll figure it out. And I made the wrong choice. It's on the other side, so I need to uh, figure out how to get across this intersection, and that's not going to cut it. That must be the uh, pier right there. Ah, uh, shoot. Yeah, this is a pretty major intersection, so I, I'm going to walk back to the overpass and, and cross over, just make my life simpler. And that's the water taxi boat. Oh, wait a second. Is there a pier right up here? No, I don't see anybody. I don't see anybody stopping. And uh, that's actually kind of a tight fit. And be careful with this water. It's, uh, it's a little brackish. There are kind of plastic covers on the side. But, uh, yeah, it's not, the, uh, it's not the cleanest water. A lot of rain runoff into these clongs. I'm surprised they're actually kind of empty today, but maybe getting back to that. Most people heading to work at 10 a.m. Well, they did have a, a little staircase to head underground. And the few times I've been on the boat, they normally pull into uh, the same side, but this appears to have folks on the other side that's the direction I need to go to head off towards Nana and then this boat will head off towards uh, it heads off up towards Kaosan Road area not exactly Kaosan and I'm again no expert on the water taxi I do know there's a pier at the end of Soy 11 in Nana and that's where I'm heading there's one down by uh, Asok almost by Makasan station in that area there's, there's several water taxi piers but yeah, I'm going to go over to the other side and head up towards Nana. And here's the corner of Petchaberry. And I'm not sure what this says. The Pradhanam Floating Night Market. Yeah, I have no idea. I'm not, uh, I'm not an expert on this area. I'm not an expert on uh, many areas, but uh, I'm not up here often enough to know what's happening. This guy's flying. These guys don't mess around. Try not to get splashed here. And those are the uh, plastic guards. 
Yeah, the water's not the freshest. It's not, uh, it's not made to be a day at the beach. It's uh, just a way to get around town and a place for the rain to go. And before I jump on the water taxi, there's this uh, little neighborhood back here. That seems kind of interesting, so I'm going to see what little restaurants are tucked away. The iTech House, I'm assuming, is a little three-story hotel. No shortage of massage anywhere in Bangkok. A little club called the Stardust. And Mr. Feet Massage next to City of Massage. And getting our boundaries, the R Walk is just straight ahead and Central World would be off to the right. And Ratchasprong Road just to the right, not even 100 feet. Looks like this tour bus is uh, loading up next to the Bed and Town Hotel. And I believe that's the Dragon Seafood Restaurant, but they have a little coffee thing on the outside. And directly across the way is the park that opens at 10. And just 100 feet in that direction is the uh, pier. I didn't see the name of that water taxi pier. 7-Eleven on the right and Panda Massage and Relax. Super rich. That's oftentimes the uh, first choice in money exchange. And there's a post office right besides the bus there. And there's the post office. Now this one says the hours are 8 to 16.30 and 9 to 12 on Saturday, closed Sundays and holidays. I have seen other post offices that are open on Sunday. And I've seen bigger ones that seem to stay open till like 8 o'clock at night. So I don't think every post office is like the United States with uh, set hours. And here's an absolute keto, keto and low carb diet center. Yeah, I like to get away in uh, these little areas. I know this is a water taxi video, but that's a whole one minute video of being on the water taxi. So I'm at least uh, getting to know another little area. I've uh, zipped by in a cab a million times and never took the time to uh, check it out. Let's see what's behind this uh, keto store. Not that I'm into uh, keto, but somebody watching the video might... Uh, might want to know where the Absolute Keto Center is. There's something called Sifa on the left. Yeah, I'm not sure what it. I'm not sure what it is. Bake Brothers. Okay, some kind of bakery. It doesn't appear to be open to the public. So let's go up in that little area that goes up and over the uh, Klong, and that should be Pechaberry Road. And for whatever reason, there's like uh, four super riches. Well, this is grand super rich. So I don't know if this is Money Exchange Central and these are big, large stores. So maybe this is where all the, uh, here's another one, 19 Exchange. So who knows? Maybe this is where all uh, a major center of money exchange because most of the other booths around town, the very busy ones like at Terminal 21 the super rich there'll be a line of 20 people but it's just a little kiosk with two ladies or two guys working in there oh there's a hotel over here called the Bangkok City Inn and that uh, what was that club the Stardust is just up there on the right Yeah, and there's nothing over here. That is the water taxi below me. Straight ahead is Ratchasprong Road. Off to the left is Central World. Off to the right is Petchaberry. And that is Petchaberry right there, not even 50 feet ahead of me. And based on the sign, I'm assuming I'm at uh, Center Pier. So yeah, let's take a look at the map. So there's definitely a little bit of a learning curve. It, uh, the one side says Center Pier, but I think I'm at Pradhanam Pier, then Shalom, Wireless, and then I'm going to Nana. 
then uh, Nanachard, then there's an Asulk Pier I know of. That's kind of close to uh, Pechaberry and uh, what is that? Asulk Montre? They do hustle. Oh man, threw that thing in reverse. They hustle on. Look, before the thing's even tied up, people are jumping on. It's a 10 second evolution. Jump on, jump off, and get that thing moving. And as I've been standing here five or 10 minutes, I've probably seen uh, five boats on the other side. Well, I've been here less than five minutes. And here comes our boat, I think. Now he's cruising by. And as you can see, most people are uh, standing and ready to jump off. Don't be sitting in the back expecting them to wait for you. That's not going to happen. And I'm not sure if this is my boat. It, it appears that more head off in the other direction to bring people into town in the morning. Yeah, this is my guy right here with the rope. So I got to get cracking. sure of the dynamic they're telling us to come down here okay I guess I guess you figure out the system no he's moving too yeah for whatever reason the boats are heading off full towards the city and then they're heading off in the other direction to uh, pick up larger groups of passengers I'm not sure but we've had Two or three boats pull up and take off. Now here's another one dropping off. Yeah, they seem to be dropping people off and then uh, taking off again. We're getting a pretty good crowd now. It's probably been about an eight minute wait. see if this boat lets us on so far they've been dropping folks off and then they walk up to this line yeah see this one's taken off too yeah so I don't understand I'm learning as I go This is our boat.
now I just have to figure out where Nana is. I think it's three stops. So that's about a two second NASCAR stop. Things happen pretty quick here. I know the Nana stop is over here. Nope, this is Nana. I think. Oh shoot, there's two Nana piers. Yeah, and I got off the wrong one. This is uh, Soy 3. I wanted to go up to Soy 11, but ah, I saw Nana. Oh well. So I guess I'm, uh, I guess I'm on Soy 3 now. Yeah, I messed up. That's Bumrengrad Hospital right there. So I know exactly where I'm. I, I'm on Soy 3. I want to go up to Soy 11. Hey, so there you go. I got off at the wrong stop. I got off at the Nana Soy 3 stop. I wanted to get off at the Soy 11, but that's okay. So there's a little water taxi ride. I am going to walk up towards soy 11 i wanted to stick my head in this one spot and maybe get a bite to eat so i appreciate you watching and yeah come out and uh ch check out the water taxis do a little bit more homework online the different piers and all because you can see how fast things move and uh yeah they're not going to wait for you or they're not going to tell you this is your stop there's no announcements no nothing if you were to live near one of these water taxis i'm sure within a week you would have it 100% down but you can see it's a it's a bit of a herky-jerky ride and uh, hopping on and off pretty fast so if uh, you got a bum knee or something it, it might not be for you so keep that in mind but otherwise it's a great way to get around town so thanks for checking out that little uh, look around the water taxi pier up by Central World and a short ride down here to Nana I appreciate everyone that watches my videos, leaves comments, gives thumbs up. That really helps me with YouTube and uh, I'm having fun with my little channel. So have a great morning and more videos to come.